Welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be going over a product that I think uh, I don't really see that too many reviews on and I don't know if it's because of the the stuff that goes with uh, on an Apple product but so I want to do it from kind of a different type of uh, standpoint. I'm going to do this from a developer standpoint or programmers or anyone who does any sort of creation um, whether it be apps or web or any other sort of software and so we're going to be going over the 2015 macbook air 13 inch and uh, i have it right here this is in the it's a spec case so it's a it's an armor for it um, i really like this it's nice and black it doesn't have anything blingy on it which looks really good and as you can see i mean it's very easy to open it's got a nice screen on it for the most part and the keyboard's okay. So we're gonna be going uh, over some specs of it. This is the 256 gig. Um, this is the top tier model. It was like $1,200 or something, whatever it is. And it's got a 12 hour battery life, um, four gigs of RAM, 256 gig solid state, and I think a 1.4 or 1.6 gigahertz dual core. So it's not a powerhouse by any means. Uh, you're not going to be able to shred out video or anything like that, any of that sort of stuff. And Photoshop and Illustrator would probably bog it down pretty well. But for what I use, it's very good, um, especially for someone who travels a lot. And I think that a lot of people miss that whenever they think of workstations and different things for developers. Is the fact that lightness can come in handy. And I mean... This thing's very light um, compared to my MacBook Pro 13 inch that I had before it died on me. Um, that thing was one of the 2011 versions, I think, and it weighed a ton. I mean, it was huge. It was a monster. It was a bear to carry around. So I got this this year um, to, to go on business trips with me. And so far, it's turned out really well. Um... I do travel a lot for my job, so but it comes in handy having something light like this. Something very light is very important to me on my business trips, and this kind of does it, and it looks professional. I mean, it does have a black case, but if I was to take it off, it, it does look professional. So let's go over the ports. Um, you've got the MagSafe here, a USB, and a headphone. On this other side, you've got a display, port out, Thunderbolt, another USB, and an SD card reader, it looks like. And, I mean, the resolution on it's not high. It's, I think it's around 1368 or something. So, I mean, it's non-retina. The keyboard is very small. It took a while to get used to typing on it. And the touchpad works quite well. So, I mean, that's pretty much the outside look of it. And, like I said, it's very light and which comes in handy on my business trips whenever i'm going to meet people meet clients really comes in handy so let's uh, take a look at the programs that i use on it and then we'll come back for a conclusion and so here we are we're looking at the the default screen here and i'm just going to go over some of the programs that i use and why so if we look here you know of course having chrome and stuff like that iTunes iBooks, we've got Xcode, um, which I really don't use any sort of um, other things for Xcode. I really don't even use it at all. Um, I don't do any sort of iOS development or OS X. So you got Google Chrome, Google Drive, Gmail, of course. Um, PHP Storm, I do use. It is a great sort of IDE for doing your PHP, your HTML, CSS, JavaScript, etc. And I got the IntelliJ IDEA 14 here. This is a Java IDE. Um, I most prefer, say, NetBeans or Eclipse to it as far as how things are ran. But at the same time, though, I'd much rather do it through the command prompt. Um, but this one is it's nice. It's a nice IDE. It's lightweight, which comes in handy uh, when you only have 4 gigs of memory. For RAM, and of course, you know, I got all my Microsoft stuff. If we look over here, besides my MakerBot, I use WebStorm, 
um, which is also a web development IDE. And I use it for, for different things like how it handles files and you can set up directories and stuff in it. So I really like that. And then just for something just to goof around with, I use Text Wrangler, which is what I use if I'm going to do Java uh, in the terminal or in the command line, a CLI. I use it for that and I also use it for C++ and just if I need to make really quick changes, it's very lightweight and it does the job to be honest, it, it really does. So that's kind of the programs that I use on a daily basis. Um, I really don't use any sort of Photoshop or anything like that. I'm not a, a designer per se or a graphic designer of any sort. I'm actually not that good with graphics. But this is what I use just to, for, for development. And of course I should have like WAMP or something, but or MAMP actually, but I don't. So we're going to switch around and we're going to kind of do a conclusion. Conclusion of the Mac, uh, MacBook Air. Um, this year's model, it's a 2014 or 2015, I can't remember. But so I've showed you an overview of the actual product itself and what I use it for in the programs. And so we're just going to kind of do like a little talk about how I feel about the product. Um, so there's a lot of things I could do differently. I could I could have went with a Windows-based machine, um, such as a Surface or just any other laptop in general, and got more horsepower. But at the same time, though, there's really not a direct competitor for how lightweight it is. And the thing about Macs is they just work. Um, which is really nice, uh, especially if you do any sort of development, you know, I don't have to worry about something going down or losing a project that I've spent 50 hours working on. So that's also why I use Mac for that. Um, for anything else though, I use Windows. So, but back to the laptop itself, for something that was $1,200, it's very light and it works. Um, I don't have any trouble out of it, and I haven't, and I know that I'll get a couple years out of it. So it's a, it's a sound investment for someone who does, you know, Java or C++ or web development. It's a very sound option. Um, yes, I'd like a, a bigger screen, which is why I have the DisplayPort to DVI, so I can plug into a monitor and also have the keyboard and the mouse um, whenever I'm at my office. But if I'm on the road, then it gets the job done. Um, especially if I just need to squeeze in a couple hours here, a couple hours there while I'm on the road to try and tidy up things. It's very good for that. But to sit down and just start developing on it for 10 hours, it's not going to work. Um, some people do that, but I don't. Um, I would prefer to have a bigger monitor. And so there is the extra cost of that. However, if you're going to use any sort of laptop, you have a 15 inch. And I wouldn't really recommend spending copious hours on a 15 inch, especially if you're like this, hunched over. Um, it's bad for your neck. So I would also recommend a monitor for that one too. But back to the laptop though, a great product. Um, I think it's very competitively priced for what it is. Is it gonna set the world on fire? No. Um, I'm not gonna do any hardcore stuff on it. No, but if I walk into a business meeting with a client, I know they're going to be like, man, look at this guy. He looks very unprofessional. He's carrying around something, you know, that's got flames on it or something or dragons. So that's, you know, that's a plus. But the lightweight was the key. I wanted something lightweight that I could carry around and it had a tremendous battery life. Um, I was actually recently at a Microsoft conference for their new touch develop platform that they're coming out with, that they've actually came out with. And so it's a two day conference on it, on their touch develop and what it could do and how they're gonna use it for education. And you know, it was like eight and 10 hour days and I was on it all day long and I still had, you know, 30, 40% whenever I got back to my hotel room. So that was a, a big plus there, was the long time that I can be away, especially if I'm in meetings or traveling or whatever. I know that I'll have the battery life in case I need to work on something or check my email. Um, if you're an in, if you're an independent developer, meaning that you don't work for a company, 
that supplies stuff, you know, you're always checking your email, or I am at least. I'm all constantly checking emails from writing back and sending invoices and everything. So having that little extra battery life left over to be able to do those things really helps me out and it keeps me off my smartphone. So that's my review of the the MacBook Air 13 inch. Um, I would recommend it for anyone who is needing something that's lightweight for business meetings and that they know will last and that works great. Um, for someone who's in college and they want a laptop that's going to last all four or five years, it would be great for that. And other case scenarios, I mean, I wouldn't recommend it for a hardcore developer who's going to start doing the recompiling of kernels or anything like that, but just lightweight web design and some coding. Or you can do copious amounts of coding on it as long as you use a monitor or find it easier that way. But it really works out when you're away from home and you have the ability to look at it and get your work done and that's the main thing when it comes to being in this profession is will it get your work done can it help you do it and can you justify the cost of it and so i think for anyone who is going to do any sort of development whether it be in college or on a professional level this would be a really nice product to have especially if you're going on trips or as a backup so, thanks for watching.